Hey, good morning, friends. Welcome back to Bahu Automation Lab once again. This is the continuation of test engine framework. We have already seen what are is the test engine, why do we need a test, uh, test engine in Selenium, what are the benefits of using test engine, test annotations, and parameterization in test engine, practically in the previous sections. Okay, if you have not watched all the previous sessions, guys, I'll request you to watch previous session first and then come to this session because uh, in this online session, uh, we'll try to learn very interesting topic and uh, very important topic for as per, uh, for the interviews perspective as well and uh, for the framework perspective as well. And uh, while working with the real time environment, we require to use this tax always uh, in the test and JXML file. So there are lots of interview questions related to this tax as well. Uh, so, so topic is include and exclude test methods from the test and JXML files. How to do that and also uh, how to parameterize this exclude and include tax as well. There are uh, there is a very important questions, four important questions on this uh, tax on in the interview uh, interview perspective as well. So we'll try to learn this practically so that you will able to answer all that questions easily. Okay. So without wasting time, let's go to the Eclipse and uh, do this concept practically. What is include and exclude tag in Selenium and how to do this practically. Okay, so uh, in this demo package, uh, we have already seen this uh, like um, uh, annotations and all those things. I'll create a one more class class name as a banking for understanding you practically, guys. Okay, and uh, this class I'll create a, uh, some methods in this class. Okay, so I'll create a one method name as public. We'll create some test uh, like a public void, like a banking. Name as Carlo. Carlo. Okay. Then this is the one test. Great test as the annotations. We require to use our import uh, from the test engine annotation. Uh, okay. So, what is this annotation and all those things? If you don't know, guys, watch annotations video carefully so that you will understand what is this test and what is this add the rate test and all those things. I have already explained it in the previous sessions. Okay. So, I'll create one more method like. Uh, one more test. This one method is treated as a test uh, test in the test in the XML file. Where file uh, when you, whenever you give that other uh, test annotations, okay. So void public void banking. Okay, so let's say personal uh, personal. Okay. No, and again I'll give. Create one more method like public void banking. Let's say boom. Okay. Perfect one. And then let's say public void banking. Let's say bike load this time. Okay. We have four tests in this test in the XML file, right? Test. Test, pilot, test. And uh, also, we require to create a, uh, one more method here, like assigning public void. Let's say sign in. Okay. Now, To understand in purpose, I'll uh, do one thing. I'll just print some matches in this methods. Let's minimize this for some time so we'll get a better screen. System.out.println. I'll just print some message here. I am in, let's say, car. Okay, I'll put same message in the all methods. Let's add the test here. Let's do that. Test. I'm in, let's say, personal loan session. Okay, then let's copy this message and print here. I'm in a home loan section. So let's remove and home and I am in bike loan section. Let's do that bike. Let's do that signing. Okay. 
and the section. Okay, so this is how uh, we have five methods in this section. Let's create a test in one test in JSON file uh, for this banking class so that we can run it. Okay, so create convert test in g.xml file. Uh, let's say I'll give it name as test in g1. Okay, just finish that. If I run this uh, test in JSON file, let's see the output. All the five test cases passed successfully. Now output is I am in a bike loan, I am in a car loan, I am in a home loan, I am in a personal loan section and sign section, right? So this is all the test cases are passed successfully. The client requirement is here. Like uh, I have five test cases in this one single class, okay? One single uh, class and I uh, client wants to run only one test case from this, okay? So what is your approach, right? So you can commit out all these uh, four test cases and run only one or like that this is the one approach but this is not a standard approach we require to do some practical section uh, session related to this so that you will understand how to do that okay in the standard way so let's understand first of all suit uh test ng xml file architecture so this is the suit and suit close here test is started here and test is close here classes start here and classes close here and classes start here and classes close here only right so you can close the uh, XML tag uh, with this slash as well, or otherwise you can simply put classes as well, right? So without closing like this, we will uh, close the class with the tag like a slash class. Okay. So this is one. And inside this class, I, if I want to run only uh, one test case from this, uh, all the five test cases, so we can include, we have one more, uh, Back in this section, like uh, methods. One more package is called methods. And inside this method class, we can simply use include tag from the test engine. Include, and we'll just copy that uh, test name from here. Like we have to run this only sign in test case from here and simply put it here. And this. Now run this test in JSON file and let's see the output. Okay, I think we have this here. And let's run this again and let's see. Yes, we have a successful run one test case like I am in a sign in section. So don't put the page uh, or anything here because this is the very thin sensitive language. Java is always case sensitive and all these things are case sensitive. So do, don't put any space or anything here. Directly put the name is here and directly we can see only one test case run from this all these five methods, right? So through this way, we can include the test cases only from multiple test cases, right? So interview questions for this is right. If I have 100 test cases, in your test in the XML file, and I just client wants to run only five from them. What is your approach? Simple. So this is the interview related question. I just want to run five from them. So what is your approach? So through this approach, you can do that. But what if uh, we have hundred test cases in your test in the XML file, and client wants to run only ninety five from them? Then what is your approach? Right. So what is the? It is the good idea to like. Uh, include that 95 test cases here like uh, in this way so this is not a good idea or this is not a good approach right so what we can do simply exclude that five test case from here and run only 95 right so we can simply use the tag here like exclude exclude and just mention that test name like i just want to exclude sign in this time Okay. And I just remove this include tag from here. And uh, if again now, if I run this, now that all remaining four test cases should be executed. Yes. And uh, there is no signing test case. Right. In this way, we can use include and exclude tag. Okay. If we have multiple test cases in your test case file, don't bother like uh, 50 test cases, 100 test cases, and uh, you want to run only 90 from them. And uh, uh, you, if you want to run only five from them, you can use, simply use this include and exclude uh, tags from the test, uh, Selenium test in uh, Selenium uh, test ng XML file, and you can run that. Run them. Okay. Right. So uh, this is all about include and exclude tags, but 
what if we have more two important questions related to this this is very important okay before working with regular expressions in uh, test in jxml file guys always try to understand and this is very important work while working with the test in jxml file okay keep it in your mind always use the method name with the proper model name convention okay while working with the test in jxml file like same that we have banking model here right so uh, i just name it like uh, banking bike loan banking home loan bank banking personal loan banking car loan right so question arise here with the help of regular expression we can achieve this uh, concept as well right if i have 100 test cases and i just want to run five of them so i just simply include that five and run uh, five it's a good a good approach okay i uh, i want to run 95 from the uh, test cases from them i just simply include that uh, exclude that five test cases and run 95 this is also good approach but what if i have 100 test cases and i just uh, or client or i just want to run 30 from them so is this good idea to include that 30 test cases there in the test in xml file no so here if you have proper naming conventions related to the model we have 30 test cases related to this banking model right so you can simply use help with the regular exception we can achieve this concept as well okay we have 30 test cases with this bank uh, related to this banking model so we can achieve uh, uh, with the help of regular exception as well right we have for here uh, for the example purpose we have a four test cases related to the banking uh, banking model right so what we can do we can take a help of uh, regular exception and just copy this model name from here banking okay and just simply put it in the test in xml file and uh, Let's use a tag name like a include here this time. Okay. And simply put that banking here and simply use a regular exception like dot star. Dot star. Okay. So with the help of this dot star a regular exception, it will run only test case related uh, start with banking name, like a, this model banking name. Okay, if I run this uh, test in the dot XML file, you can see the output here. Okay, it's run only personal loan, car loan, bike loan, and home loan section. It, it will not include the signing test case because it's not related to the banking model. Simple. So we have if you have 30 test cases related to the banking model, you can simply use regular exception and run there. Same if you have 70 test cases related to the banking uh, um, model and 30 is not related to the banking model, then simply exclude that 30 test cases from here. Simply use exclude tag uh, with the help of regular exception here. Exclude banking. Simple. Okay, I just I. Uh, I just uh, want to run other test case. Uh, I, I'm not uh, or client not wants to run banking test case this time. So simply exclude that banking test case and run other, all other test case. Also 70 uh, want to run. Uh, I just uh, I don't want to run uh, that banking related to test cases. Okay. I just want to run uh, remaining 70 test cases. Right. So here, remaining 70 test cases, only one, like a signing section. Okay, so only one test case is run and exclude all the bank related test cases. Okay, so with the help of uh, regular exception and this include and exclude tag uh, in the test engine XML file, we have achieved all this concept related to the test engine XML file and all these important uh, interview questions. Okay, do this practically by your side as well and uh, understand this concept. Uh, so that you can answer whatever question asked related to this exclude and include concept. This is very important while working with the real-time framework as well. Okay, whenever you work with framework, just note it down. If you re required to use, or you have to always use the model name as a naming convention while working with the test engine framework. Okay, perfect, guys. So this is all about uh, include and exclude in test engine XML files. File. If you have any. Uh, doubt related to this uh, concept you can just comment out me i'll give the answer related to this okay don't forget to like share and subscribe to automation lab to 
learn this type of inter interesting questions okay uh, interesting questions answers and inter interesting concepts as well okay so let's meet in next chapter till time have a great day bye bye take care